projects. In this video, we are going to explain about TIN, a routing protocol for enhanced efficiency in wireless sensor networks. Introduction Rapid technological breakthroughs in recent years have catalyzed the evolution of wireless sensor networks, urging in a new era of monitoring and control across a wide range of applications. The implementation of wireless sensor networks for structural health monitoring and failure prediction is one such application that is gaining traction. This novel concept involves the placement of swarm of tiny wireless sensors throughout a structure allowing for continuous real-time monitoring of its conditions from both inside and outside. The capacity to detect possible failures and structural anomalies before they occur is transforming business that require high level of safety and dependability by harnessing the power of these wireless interconnected sensors. Coming to objective, the goal of the project is to improve the energy efficiency of the wireless sensor networks which are WSNs used for environmental monitoring. The project intends to reduce energy usage while retaining data accuracy by adopting the TEEN, which is Threshold Sensitive Energy Efficient Sensor Network Protocol. TEEN uses hard and soft thresholds to transmit data selectively, saving energy by avoiding redundant transmissions. Implementation of the protocol enhances WSN scalability, accuracy and endurance, making it suited for real-world scenarios such as medical, monitoring, agriculture and traffic control. These are the requirements needed for execution. In hardware requirements, operating system of Windows, processor of 5, 5 and above, RAM of 4 GB and above, hard disk of 20 GB and above. In software, we need Python IDEL of 3.7 version. These are the design modules for execution. First one is generate WSN network. Using this module, we will generate some virtual sensors. Next one is Hierarchical clustering. Using this module, we will divide all sensors into clusters and then select one node as cluster head in every cluster group. And this cluster information will be based on distance and high availability energy. Third one is run leach protocol. This module simulates leach behavior which will send random data every second and report all packets to cluster head and for each transmission, we will record transmission energy and residual energy. Fourth one is run teen protocol. Using this module, we will sense random data. If data is greater than hard threshold in range between soft threshold, then only packet will be sending cluster head, otherwise packet will be ignored. Fifth one is energy dissipated graph. Using this module, we will plot dissipation energy between leech and teen and leech will send packet every interval so it dissipate or lose more energy. Sixth one is energy residual graph. Using this module, we will plot available energy graph between leech and proposed gene. So, teen will send packet based on threshold satisfaction, so it saves more energy. For execution of the project, first we need to open the code folder. This is the code folder of the project. And this is the python main code file. And this is the run.bat file. Instead of executing the project in command line interface, we have created windows batch file for execution. So double click on it for execution. This is the graphical user interface of the project. With this we can interact with the program. And this is created by using tickinter library. So here first we need to enter number of nodes that has to be generated. So here in text area I will enter 30 and now click on generate WSN network to generate sensors. So all the red color are the normal sensors and blue color is the base station. Now I need to give node ID and hard threshold and soft threshold to send the packet information based on the thresholds. So here I will select node 8 and now hard threshold as 20 and 30 as soft threshold. Now I need to click on the button run leech protocol to send the packet information. Before that, I need to cluster all the sensors. So for this, I need to click on the button Hierarchical Clustering. Each color represents the clusters, one particular cluster. So green color is one cluster, blue is one cluster, yellow is one cluster and red is one cluster. So for every cluster, there is a cluster head. So for green, this is the cluster head and for blue, this is the cluster head and for yellow, there is cluster head. Similarly, we will have for red also. Now, we need to uh, send the information. For this, I need to run on the button, run leech protocol. So here, MN8 sensor is sending information to cluster head 7 and then it is sending to nearest neighbor MN0 and then at last it is sending to base station. Now we need to run leech 
routine protocol so here also it is sending in same way but the black line is appearing less times which means it is consuming less energy now we will test with other node ids also so here mn10 is sending information to ch26 which is cluster head and then it is sending to nearest neighbor which is mn3 and then it is sending to base station now i will click on the button run team protocol here also it is running uh, it is sending information from mn10 to ch26 and then it is sending to mn3 and then to base station similarly we can test with all other node ids also now click on the button run energy dissipated graph so here on x axis we have number of transmission and on y axis we have energy dissipation green is least dissipation blue is teen dissipation among both the lines uh, teen dissipation is consuming less energy now i will click on the button energy residual graph here on x axis i have number of transmission and on y axis i have residual energy of that particular teen or leach so green is leach and blue is teen leach uh, is consuming more energy and teen is consuming less energy now i will click on the button teen energy dissipated graph here on x axis i have number of transmission and on y axis energy dissipation so this is the energy consumption which is dissipation energy consumption of teen now i will click on the button teen energy residual graph here on x axis i have number of transmission and on y axis teen residual energy this blue line is indicating the energy consumed by teen protocol so close this gui conclusion teen protocol improves energy efficiency in wireless sensor networks which are wsn by using threshold based data transmission teen eliminates redundancy and conserves energy by selecting deliberating data depending on hard and soft thresholds teen outperforms leach in python simulation by dissipating less energy and keeping greater residual energy levels this method increases sensor node lifespan and scalability teen practical applicability to real world circumstances highlights the technology potential to revolutionize environmental monitoring and other wsn application after long term data collecting while maximizing energy utilization of network operation Thank you for watching video. For more projects please visit our website www.trueprojects.in. For updates on latest project videos, please visit True Projects YouTube channel and subscribe.